Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. Bring it out. Next, we're going to get our dress code. Numbers 1538. Do God care about how we dress? He don't care. He don't care? I'm asking the question. Do he care about how we dress? He does, because it's a there you go. He cares about how you dress. And we and watch. Every time we touch this, spirits get riled up, but we're gonna touch it. God has a dress code for you. Read that. The book of Numbers, chapter 15, verse 38. Read it out. Speak unto the children of Israel. The children of Israel is you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You are God's chosen people. So this message is for you. Read. Command. We going back to the example with the kids. If I say son, I want the room clean at seven in the morning. He get up and clean it at ten. What did he do? He transgressed my rules, so it's a punishment. God has a dress code. You break the dress code, it's a punishment. Read. make fringes in their garments. Every brother you see up here, we got on fringes. Fringes on the garment, fringes on our shirts. When we go to work, we got fringes on. Why? Because we love God. That's the command. That's this brother right. got on fringes right here. That's the example. Read. And that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. You got your fringes, you got your ribbon of blue. That's the order. But it's something behind the fringes. It ain't so it look cool. Oh, I got the red fringes, I'm gonna get a red fitted cap. No. It's a point of you wearing the fringes. Let's see, read. And it shall be unto you for a friend that ye may look upon it and remember all the commandments of the Lord and do them. So that's the point of wearing the fringes. Right. To remind you to keep God's laws. You walking up and down 71st, brother walk past, you say South Buck Loud, you finna reach in your pocket, you brush past the French, like, oh, hold oh, on, oh. I can't do that, I can't smoke weed. That's the foul of my temple that's breaking God's laws. Sister walk past, she half naked, your old man wanna look, but the new man gonna look away. You gonna remember your fringes, you got your fringes on, I can't look at her, that's lusting after women. Read it again. The last part. And it shall be unto you for a friend that ye may look upon it and remember all the commandments of the Lord and do them. Uh -huh. And that ye seek not after your own heart uh -huh. and your own eyes after which ye use to go a whoring. That's a problem we got as a people. Run. Our mind always on the next thing spoken, the next thing jumping. Damn, look at her. Damn, look at this, look at that. This a lit. We always, our mind goes a horn. Not just our mind, we try every religion on earth. Damn, let me try this, let me worship this, let me pray to this. Except coming back to God, that's our problem. Run. Give me Deuteronomy 22 and 5. Now we gonna keep dealing with the dress code. Cause we got a dress code. It's gonna get in depth. So as an Israelite man, Israelite woman, you got to have your fringes on. Fringes will man you to do what? Keep God's laws. Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22, verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. For all that do so are an abomination unto the Lord thy God. My brother don't leave. 
leave. My brother don't leave in the hoodie. Don't leave yet, bro. Listen to this. From the top. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Now, my brother, what does that mean? God said the woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Pertain mean belong. I'm going to let y'all put the rest of the puzzle together. What that mean? Pants. Pants belong to men. When pants was first made, what they put in the front? A zipper. Pants is for us to go to the bathroom. But now they switch it up, they say, oh, these are women's pants. They still pants. Let me, let me bring this to your attention. If they make a bra and say it's a man's bra, is that still women's clothing? Yes, it is. So how the hell women pants make sense? That don't make sense. What they did was desensitize you. Just like with the same-sex marriage, they kept putting it in front of your face, putting it in front of your face. Now you got brothers like, well, it ain't me, bro. It ain't me. Same thing with the women pants. Well, it's women pants. That don't make sense. They made you accept it. Just like everything else they did to you. Read. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Is that simple? That's easy to be understood. What that mean, my brother? Earring. Not earrings, we talking about clothing, remember. I'm saying though, it's, it's a full of love, but that pertains to a woman though. Anything pertaining to a woman, you ain't supposed to be wearing. And me and wearing earrings. Like no, no, no. Some of our, but look, some of our forefathers wore earrings. Some of our forefathers wore earrings, so earrings ain't no problem. Remember, it's talking about clothing. So what is that? Dresses, right, right. skirts. In this society, they push confusion on our people. Bring it out. You know what this scripture talking about? Cross dressing. Right. Ain't no cross dressing with God. That's right. You a man, you wear man clothing. Right. You a woman, you wear women's clothing. That's Why? right. Because that puts a spirit on you. If a man put on a dress, how is he gonna start to act? He gonna act effeminate. Right. Now this is even more easy. When sisters wear jeans and they sagging, hat cop, how they act? Like they act like a man. Right. Cause that puts a spirit on you. The laws of God is spiritual. So when you apply the laws of God, your spirit will change. That's right. Read again. Read on. Sorry. For all that do so are an abomination unto the Lord thy God. Now, we didn't write this, my sister. I see you shaking your head. God said it's a dress code and you must follow it. John 14, 15. I'm going to ask you a very serious question, my sister. Do you love God? You love God, sis? I can't hear you because the mask. Yeah, I Listen, says, listen, you mind if I interject my sister? Can I interject real quick? What you said is no different if a brother who has a receding hairline says he wants to shave his head because he feels uncomfortable. But the laws of God says he cannot do that. So you must put your feelings to the side and do what God says. Now listen, now listen. They have leggings. You can wear leggings to cover up the sky. You can wear the yoga pant underneath your dress to cover up the sky. Stockings. It's not all, and then it's not also a sky. I have also a disease that I'm going to put my hair to the side for a minute, and I'm going to show you why I don't You don't have to. No, sis, listen. No, you don't have to do that. Listen. John 14, 15. My sister, my sister, my sister, listen. This is for all of y'all. If you love God, you're going to do what God says. Read. The book of John, chapter 14, verse 15. If ye love me, keep my commandments. Uh -huh. Read it one more time. Now, who is this speaking? Christ. That's Jesus Christ talking. So we then moved ourselves out the way because when people hear the message, they want to come at the messenger. No, Jesus Christ is speaking right here. He said, if you love him, if you love his father, you're going to do what they tell you to do. That's right. So if God wants the man not to shave his head, if we love God, we ain't going to shave our head. That's Same right. thing go with you, sis. Okay. You can't 
can't be caught up in your emotions and your feelings. You got to do what God says. It's about your love with God. Listen one more time. Your love with God is telling you not to wear the mask, right? You said, hold on. Hold on. What's that question? Go ahead. My brother, you were, I'm listening to you. Remember what I said, when the rules of God come out, you see what's happening right now. Go ahead. He came from the heart. So if you have an issue with like disease or alcoholism or fear or anything like that, or blood or anything like that, Jesus came to work on your heart to heal you. He died on the cross and he rose again so that you can have victory over these things. It's not about You matter if I interject this. Can I finish? It's not about pants. It's not just about how you wear your hands. It's about the heart. You finish this. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I heard what you said, but I'm asking, are you finished? I'm done. I want to ask you, where did you hear that from? That God looks at the heart. I want to know That's the source. What Samuel said. The prophet Samuel, when he was about to choose uh -huh. David, when he was about to choose David's brother, uh -huh. and God told him to choose David, he said, man looks at the outward things, God looks at the heart. Because he thought, what is the heart according to God? The heart is your, is your soul. It's your, it's your spiritual condition. Listen to this. Read. It's not the book of Mo wait, 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 wait. This Jesus Christ who finna speak right now. You believe in Christ, right? Yeah, I do. So whatever Christ say, you gonna do, right? You have to rightly divide the word of Jesus. That's what's happening right now. What's happening, you That's heard right. the rule, Bring it the out. law from God on the dress code, and you got offended by it. I think that you got a little ruffled by it. No, but about. you must listen. I let you go for a long time. You my sister. I respected you and I let you speak. Respect and let the Bible speak. Those are the rules of God. So if you have an issue with that, you got to take it over God. Read. The book of Mark, chapter 7, verse 21. What is the heart according to the Bible? Because we taught in Christianity, God look at the heart. God don't care about what you do. We taught that the heart is this thing on the left side of your chest that pump blood. That's not the heart, according to the Bible. Read. For from within, out of the heart of men, proceed evil thoughts. Does this vessel on the left side of your chest think? Does it have thoughts? A heart just pump blood. That's all a heart do. So if he's saying... From within, out of the heart of man, proceed evil thoughts. What's your heart? Your mind. So if your mind is full of evil, you're out of order. This got to change. Read. Hold on, sis. I'll let you go for a long time. What I want you to do, listen to the Bible. That's it. Read. For from within, out of the heart of men, proceed evil thoughts. Let's get the evil thoughts. Read. Adultery. Adultery. Is God for that or is he against that? I'm going to start with you. He's against that. What about you, my sister? Against that. In church, they say the laws are done away with. So when you come with the doctrine of Christianity and you say, oh, God don't care about what you do. He looks at the heart. You're saying a man can commit adultery. For those that don't know what adultery Adultery is, adultery is when you sleep with somebody else's spouse. That's against God. That's what we teach when we come out here. Bring you will not commit adultery. If you do that, sin. Read. Fornication. Fornication. Fornication is boyfriend and girlfriend. God is against that. You must have a wife if you are a man. You must have a husband if you are a woman. You cannot sleep with everything you see. God's against that. Read. Murder. Murder. Guess what? Brothers shooting at each other, talking about I'm at the ops. God is against that. Read. Thefts. Theft. Read. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Read that one more time. Thefts. Theft. Theft. What is theft? Theft is looting. Theft is what? Looting. Looting. 
looting, right. stealing. God said that it's evil. Right. So everybody that took part in looting and stealing, when all of them riots took place, you are breaking God's law. That's, right. That's why we always shocked when it's shootings, mass shootings. Weekend, 81 people get shot. Why did that happen? It was a lot of stealing, a lot of looting, a lot of sin. Yes, say that. It was designed by the white man, but we sin on our own free will. So if sin was what got us in this predicament, what's going to get us out? Get out. What's going to get us out this situation? Joshua 1 and 8. Say what? To repent. Change your ways. You want to be prosperous? You want to get out this condition? This is what you got to do. Read that. The book of Joshua, chapter 1, verse 8. Uh -huh. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth. So this word of God is not supposed to depart out of your mouth. You should be speaking the rules of God. Right. That's what your conversation should consist of. Not Nicki Minaj's new video. Right. Not Cardi B. Not who into it. Read. But thou shalt meditate therein day and night. Brother, study Magic Johnson's stats from 79. Bring it out. Study the word of God. Brothers know everything about LeBron. LeBron don't even know you. Right. But brother don't know how to change his condition. Read. And that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. You know the problem our people have? To do what God says, it takes action. You can't do like the church and just talk. You got to actually do what the Bible says. That's right. Our people have a problem with changing them bad habits. That's, right. That's why you saw the sister right here. She heard the rule. She immediately got rattled back. Because what? She's in error. She got to change that error. Read. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous. After you do what God says, then your way will be prosperous. Take a look at South Chicago. We are not prosperous. We do not do what God says. Read. And then thou shalt have good success. That's how you be successful. Do what God says. It's we used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.